basically. Yeah, I actually for this game. Me too. Here yeah, the skull, Elizabeth Johnson executed your 1800. Completely pitch black. We allowed it, Dean Narman. Constantine. Oh Look at this tunnel. Thanks for tuning into Amy's Crypt. You are about to watch five compelling pieces of paranormal evidence captured in some of the world's most haunted places. Be sure to watch this video through to number one to see some extremely scary evidence that has never been seen before. To kick off this list, I am taking you into the depths of one of the most notoriously haunted places in the world the Paris Catacombs. Not only is this spanning underground tunnel system illegal and dangerous to enter, it is filled with the skeletal remains of some six million humans. These bones were piled into pre-existing ancient mining networks below Paris after cemeteries in the city were inundated with death and began to overflow. Some people say that this process of exhuming bodies has led to many restless souls becoming trapped in the Paris catacombs. During my visit to these forbidden catacombs, I attempted to reach out to and communicate with these lost, trapped souls. I received multiple unexplained voices on my audio, yet there is one that stands out the most. The following footage contains what appears to be a sinister sounding disembodied laugh. This laugh was captured on my camera's audio as my camera guy was taking some panning footage of a bone-filled chamber. Let's take a listen. What do you think this eerie laughter sounds like? Do you think there is some kind of reasonable explanation for it? Or could it have been caused by something paranormal? Our next piece of paranormal evidence takes us to Angeles in the Philippines. Here lies an abandoned military hospital, which is part of the old Clark Air Base. This hospital treated many injured soldiers during both World War II and the Vietnam War. The hospital continued to operate through to the early 90s when it was damaged beyond repair from a nearby volcano eruption. Many people believe that the amount of pain, suffering and death that the Clark Air Base Hospital has seen has stained it with paranormal residue, making it one of the most haunted places in the world. During my visit, I investigated many of the abandoned hospital's most haunted parts, including its former morgues, basement and paediatric ward. I managed to capture one piece of evidence within the hospital, which was particularly chilling. Watch this next clip and listen carefully. Here, I picked up an electronic voice phenomena, which very much appears to be telling me to get out. Right, guys, I am standing in one of the morgues of the old Clark Air Base Hospital. This place is now abandoned but has seen a lot of death in the past. I'm going to reach out and see if there are any spirits that linger here. This place is said to be insanely haunted. Um, I'm going to be reaching out in English. This is actually a place where a lot of US soldiers were brought from the Vietnam War. They were injured and a lot of them did die here. A lot of US soldiers were U.S. soldier room, U.S. soldier room, U.S. soldier room. Please share your thoughts on this piece of paranormal evidence with me in the comments below. Do you believe it could have been one of the U.S. soldiers said to haunt this hospital communicating with me? Possibly angry at my visit to the hospital or issuing me a warning of what I may encounter within its dark interior? Our next haunted location brings us to a little known and rarely visited burial ground that lies just outside of Vienna, Austria. This location is known as the Cemetery of the Nameless 
and is believed by many to be a very haunted place. It contains many graves, most of which contain people who are unidentified. The nameless cemetery was constructed to give the many bodies washing up ashore from the Danube River a resting place. Since many of these people had committed suicide by jumping into the river, they could not be buried within one of the city's Catholic cemeteries. It is said that many of the people buried here wander the area around their graves looking for someone to remember them. Watch this next piece of evidence and listen closely. Here, I received a response through the paranormal investigation tool, GhostTube. This application produces the name Constantine from a database of random words selected when certain environmental fluctuations are achieved. We lautet die Namen. Constantine. Uh, I just got Constantine. Constantine? Constantine, Constantine, Constantine. What do you think? Could this have been the name of one of the unidentified ghosts at the Nameless Cemetery? especially considering Constantine is a popular name in this area of Europe. Or do you think this could have just been a random anomaly detected by Ghost Tube? The next piece of paranormal evidence I am about to share brings us to one of the most haunted pubs in England. The Golden Fleece Inn resides in York and has gained a scary reputation for paranormal occurrences. This narrow pub and inn was first mentioned in records that date back to the early 1500s and although the building has seen remodelling since, it is thought to contain a number of spirits from its long life. The wife of a mayor who lived and died next door is said to haunt the Golden Fleece, along with a soldier affectionately known as One-Eyed Jack and a Canadian airman who served in World War II only to die by falling from the top window of the inn. During my visit, majority of the footage I took within the inn became corrupt with strange glitching. This affected so much of my footage it was rendered unusable. This anomaly has since to repeat on this particular camera, memory card and editing equipment that I still continue to use. Here are some sample pieces of unedited footage displaying the corrupt video. So this thing says here, the skull, Elizabeth Johnson executed York 1800. currently inside one of the most haunted places in York that is the Golden Fleece Inn. Please share your thoughts about this glitching footage with me in the comments below. I recently experienced a similar phenomenon on a different camera within the haunted Sydney quarantine station, though not to the extent I saw at the Golden Fleece. Could this have been a spirit messing with my electrical equipment or a more explainable technical error? The number one piece of paranormal evidence I am about to show you has yet to air on my channel. This was captured during an investigation I conducted at the very haunted and very scary 99 Doors Mansion in Malaysia. This abandoned mansion dates back to the late 1800s and has a very dark past that has caused many to believe it to be one of the most haunted places in Asia. The mansion has been the scene of murder and black magic, which many believe has made the mansion a portal for dark spirits to visit the realm of the living. While the mansion seemed to be particularly active with strange happenings, one piece of paranormal evidence sticks out in my mind as both compelling and disturbing. Watch this next clip. 
Here, as I went to investigate weird noises coming from an empty room, heavy running footsteps were audible going up the staircase above me. So it's super dark in the mansion. What was that? Hello? Hello? Okay, this room is empty. It's just a distant pop outside as well, like a firecracker or something. Did you hear that? There's something big up there. Kid running up the stairs or something. That is creepy. I'm actually I actually for this game. Me too. Where was that noise coming from? On the stairs, right? Yeah. That was right above our head. Are you filming me? Yeah, I was. Hello, is there someone there? It is interesting to note here that we were completely alone in the abandoned mansion and spent many hours within the ruin so it was not possible for anyone else to be in the building. These footsteps came from the mid part of the stairs and ran to the top before stopping completely. Access to this staircase was blocked at this area by a gate and barbed wire, and all other staircases leading upstairs were extremely dangerous to scale and impossible to access without us being aware of it. What do you think could have caused these footsteps? Leave me a comment below. If you want to watch full episodes of any of these locations, I will leave links to them all below. If you want to see videos of my visit to the 99 Doors Mansion, please tell me in the comment section. Also, consider subscribing. I plan to release these videos soon on my channel. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. To read about haunted places that I have visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, take care, Crypt Keepers.